Hey, what's up you guys? It is Sydney here today and I have another speed build for you. Now, this was posted in a uh, Facebook group that I am a part of. Someone wanted a house built for them and they sent in a couple images and the image had the front of house with, you know, the color scheme and then it had the layout design. So you may look at this and think this layout looks really crazy, which I agree with you. I think the layout was extremely crazy and I don't know if I just made the house too small or what, but it was as close to what the photo was as that I could get, though the house probably could end up being a little bit bigger uh, to kind of make it more to scale. The house in the image had like little grids on there already, so I was just kind of going off of those grids and counting the same amount of grids in the sims to make it you know the same size proportionally but I don't really know I really love how the house turned out in the end I really like the design of it I like the style of it um, and I just really like how it looks now I didn't use the same color scheme on the front of the house as there was in the image it had a kind of like a red um, accent brick wall and along with like a yellow brick wall for the rest of the house and I spent ages and I'm sure you will see trying to get a nice yellow brick but we just don't have that or at least anything that like I liked how it looked so I ended up just doing more of a black and red kind of thing um, which you'll see and I love how it turned out I think the outside of this house is one of my favorites that I have done so far and the downstairs is also one of my favorites. I just really love how this turned out. I ended up doing kind of like a navy blue and black and white kind of thing and then each of the bedrooms are decorated as they please. Um, one thing in the image that I referenced it had walk-in wardrobes so I definitely made sure that I gave a walk-in wardrobe to every bedroom, which then ended up kind of making some of the rooms a lot smaller. So we have this really tiny room upstairs that I ended up just making like a baby's bedroom that they can grow into a toddler. If they get bigger than that, you might have to move or <laughs> rearrange the room. We do have a lot of skill building activities as well. There is... Uh, there's potted um, plant pots to do gardening. There is a computer. There are bookshelves. Obviously, there's all the kitchen gear. And I believe we have an easel, a punching bag, and a... Oh, what's... And a guitar is in there as well. So definitely, you know, you can do a lot of skill building in this home, which, you know, is really nice to be able to have that. And I honestly don't believe it was super expensive, though I will tell you, I used just about every single pack to furnish this home. And I did not realize that until the end. I was just going and furnishing it how I saw fit and what I thought looked nice. And then when I looked at it after I uploaded it to the gallery... It had a lot of packs in it, so I am so sorry about that. I'm sure some of them were just small little clutter items. But I did actually download this house as the shell and furnace just because I was building it for someone else who kind of requested it. I wanted to do a furnished and an unfurnished uh, just so she can download it unfurnished if that's how she liked it. So right now you might be looking at this and thinking it looks really wonky and I 100% agree with you. This is the phase where I was trying to make it look like the picture but I just wasn't feeling it. So we do change a lot of the colors and we change the roofing as well to kind of give it a more modern feel. I just wasn't able to get the same effect that the real house had and I just feel like even that Personally, in my opinion, I didn't think the real house had a nice roofing <laughs> to begin with. So changing the roofing wasn't that big a deal. I thought it turned out a lot nicer. And we do try a couple different styles before I finally get the kind that I like. And I really think it turned out super cute. And I love how it's still kind of a small house. It's easily playable. There are two living spaces and an open uh, office. So there's a lot of room for your sims and there's two and a half baths so there's plenty of like 
room and space for each of your sims to interact how they please because you can have up to uh one two three four five sims in this house and if you do couples because there are two double beds in the teens bedrooms you can have you know a full house of sims you can have seven sims in this house which is really awesome now i posted the shell of this already on a couple different forums and a lot of people are asking how I got the garage door that came with the city living expansion. They are able to draw on it, though I do place uh, two cars, one inside the garage and one outside of the garage. So I'm not 100% sure if your Sims actually can use it. I don't know if something's in the way, but yeah, I did play test the home. So everything does work. All of the, you know items though again which i had this issue in my last build on monday the laundry does not work in my game and i don't understand why at all in the last one i did have some clutter items in front of the washer but in this one there is literally nothing in front of the washer or dryer they are stacked and it doesn't work so i don't know if it's because they're stacked i don't do a lot or if any gameplay really so i haven't you know, actually used it properly in general. All I know is that it does not work in this game right now. Uh, so right here, we are doing some front gardening. Uh, again, I was kind of basing it off the picture that they had. They had a stone, you know, driveway and step up. And then there's a lot of little pebbles filling in between the more bigger steps. And so I was trying to get a look that I like. So I ended up going for the more grassier one and filling it in kind of around there one thing that i hate so much is that we can't build a fence to the end of a lot it just leaves that weird awkward gap and so that's where i ended up putting in a trash bin and the mailbox just to kind of make it look like there wasn't that awkward gap <laughs> uh, right now we are adding in some windows the picture was only a front angled picture though in the little layout designs they kind of showed where win windows would be so I went off that at first and then I added a couple more. I changed some of the sizing and some of the designs of the window just to make it fit and to make it look a little bit more natural. And you can see the windows upstairs are lifted a little just so from the outside it looks a lot nicer. And then the ones downstairs are right against the floor and they are taller windows, which I really like how that turned out. Normally when I place windows, I place them like right on the center. I don't normally place them on the ground or up higher. So it was really cool to kind of do that and get to see how that would look in a house. And it's definitely something I will bring, you know, forward with me as I build new homes. So I built this house in three different parts. I did the, what we're doing right now, which was the layout design and the outdoor area one day just to kind of get it done get an idea get it posted see if she liked it and then the next day i came back and decorated the downstairs took me a lot longer than i thought and so i had to take a break and i came back and did the upstairs which also took me a little bit longer than i had liked it to so i believe i cut out uh, me doing the bathrooms upstairs but it is the same exact design or well just the items at least that I used in the bathroom downstairs which is still in the game and you will get to see all the bathrooms in the screenshots as well um, so I think overall it took me four hours or so to build this which was crazy I don't think it's ever taken me that long to build a house before and now I'm left with a 30 minute voiceover and I have no idea what to talk about or what to do I know I've been complaining over my last three or four voiceovers that I don't know what to talk about or how to do them. And I will continue complaining about it until I know how to do voiceovers a lot better than how I'm doing them currently. I am just kind of winging it, trying to, you know, talk about the builds. Nothing interesting really goes on in my life to talk about my life, I guess. Uh, we kind of discussed it a little bit in the last video that I do have a daughter. She is four months old and she is actually right next to me. I got her or we were gifted one of those little hanging uh, door hanging swings and she is way too small for it but it is so cute putting her in there, putting some blankets around her and 
she has no idea what she's doing, so she kind of just swings around in circles. But she's smiling, and she's giggling, so I think she likes it. Um, I'm not sure if you can hear, but there are a lot of dogs barking right now, and that is because I watch dogs. Um, that's what I do to kind of have some sort of income, is that I do dog boarding, so I keep dogs at my house, which is super fun. I have a three-year-old lab of myself. His name is Milo, and he was the first love of my life. He was the best thing that ever happened to me. And I've been wanting to get another dog, but my fiancé isn't 100% for it, considering we do have a newborn baby, and we have a dog of our own. So for a compromise, um, he is letting me board dogs. So I get my little puppy fix and my little doggy fix while not having to keep one 24-7. So yeah, it's been really nice for my little pup Milo to get to play with other dogs and get to interact. It lets him, you know, let out his energy and everything. And I get to see all these different breeds and all these different dogs and figure out if I want to get another dog myself, which has been pretty nice. Um, right here, we are just doing a little bit of gardening. I felt like this house would kind of keep it pretty neat and clean and simple. Well, I guess it's not really simple. There's a lot of plants everywhere. But just really keep it neat and clean, which is why we did the little fencing around it to just make it look like they only wanted, you know, the garden within that little fencing area. We do have the uh, actual laundry room, but then we add an outdoor laundry, which you'll see right here. Just for fun, I thought it'd be really cute to add and just really simple. And it's also tucked away, so when you're taking pictures or when you're looking at the house front on, you don't actually see, you know, the other, like the outdoor laundry. It still looks very nice and clean. At this point, I was trying to figure out to do a seating area and an eating area, but I didn't really like it. I wasn't really feeling it, so we do end up changing that, and I just have a eaten um, table outside instead of having an eat-in area and a seating area, just because at this point the house had three different living spaces and I didn't find it necessary to have an outdoor living space. And we add some little yoga mats to kind of replicate, you know, um, towels and that kind of thing. And also, I guess that's another skill. So there's a lot of skill building items in this house, which is really great. You know, there is the, the little uh, monkey bars for kids. And just a lot of really awesome stuff. There's a little bit more clutter in this house than I would say I normally do. Especially in like the kids' bedrooms. They are filled with clutter. And I felt like the parents gave them a little bit of an idea of how they wanted it to look. And then let them decorate the rest of it. You will see like the colors are a little different from the rest of the house. Along with just the style of it is definitely different from the rest of the house and I felt like that was just the parents giving the kids an opportunity to kind of decorate it and do as they please. Uh, right there you could see that I added the two different cars onto the lot. I put the one that looked a little bit nicer inside the garage to kind of give the effect that like this is the dad's like prized possession like this is his favorite car so he keeps it inside so no one can see it or scratch it up or do anything Whereas the other one was more of a family car that is kept outside for, you know, just regular everyday use. Um, right here, we are just adding some finishing touches to the outside. And, okay, there we go. We have the cut for, you know, this is the second day. So this is when I came back to the build and decided to start the furnishing. Um, I was kind of basing off my color scheme off what I had already started outside. So I used kind of more of a plumish blue purple uh, umbrella for the table. And so I was kind of going off of that and using more of like a blue tones or blue colors in the kitchen. But we do end up changing up the kitchen just a little bit. Just, I believe we start out with like blue, blue cabinets and then white um, appliances. And we do change that. We go to black appliances and white cabinets just because I thought it looked a little bit cleaner and a little bit nicer. But this is my favorite part of the whole house. I have to say the downstairs is my favorite part of the house. I will say it again and again. I just love how it turned out. I love how big and open the kitchen is. And you can still sit and feed a lot of Sims in this house. So we have the 
you know, a six person table and then there's the three bar stools and then there's a four person table outside. So you can definitely get all of your Sims in there. You can throw a good party here. There's plenty of living space and activities for all of that fun stuff. All right, sorry about that. I had to do a little cut there. My little girl was fussing a little bit. I think she's kind of getting tired. It's around her nap time, which is really pretty convenient. She goes to bed nine o'clock at night or so doesn't wake up until nine or ten in the morning which is awesome because i can stay up a little later but still get to sleep in some so i am nice and awake by the time she wakes up but then she also takes a nap around noon to like between like 12 and 3 which is awesome because i get to then go out and walk some dogs if i need to make some extra money or do any activities that i need done i can just put her in her little car carrier and she'll sleep through the whole entire thing which is great so right now, we are adding some clutter items around the house and doing a little bit more decorating. I was trying to make it just seem, you know, that these people, you know, that the parents like their house clean and organized. They like specific things. And so I was trying to keep that very, you know, modern and very natural. I love these tiles that I use. I believe they're from Spa Day. And I thought they were so perfect and so cute in this little space. And then we go through and we change all the walls in the whole entire house to green or gray. Not green. That is definitely not green. We turn them to a gray color just to make it a little easier. And then I go through and try to figure out what type of wood I wanted to use. At this point, I was trying to limit the packs I was using as well. I was just trying to think about it in my head that I didn't want to use a lot of them. And by the end, as I said earlier... It completely failed I used so many packs and I'm definitely sorry about that but let me know in the comments down below what you think about pack usage and how it affects your download rate or like you know your gameplay and that kind of things do you have a lot of packs do you only have some I personally have everything even the newest uh, my first pets which you'll see we're using the little chair right here making like an l-shaped couch uh, there's a couple My First Pets items, I believe, in the house. I think, yeah, we had a hedgehog in as well in the little, the teen girl's room, which I thought was super cute and a nice little additive in that. So just let me know. Do you have a lot of packs? Do you use all the packs? What's your opinion? Like, does, does that affect how you download a house? Will you download one even if you don't have all the packs and just fix what's missing? I'm just really curious. Um, I want to try to build more houses with fewer packs and I also want to still build houses like this where I have full creativity and I can use whatever items I see fit. If you've noticed a lot of my builds are pretty limited on packs just because I want them to be more open to like what people will use and what people can download because I want you know a high download rate. So if you're interested you can always download this house or any other builds I have on the origin. My ID is of Misfit Place. And I would love for you to check that out. Let me know what you think. My builds go up as soon as I'm done with them. And then my videos go out about a week or so later. So if you do download there, you will get a sneak peek of all of my builds, which is super exciting and super fun. So you will always know like what's, co what's coming up and what I am up to. Um, right now, we are furnishing the second, I guess, living space. This is more of a communal uh, talking kind of just sit around in gathering area it is open to the kitchen so that way you know if you're having a party or friends are over they can sit in there and lounge around while you're in the kitchen cooking a very open living space I feel even though there are a lot of walls and corners and cut-ins like that I still felt like this was very open and usable um, for that kind of factor and as you can see we are doing that kind of navy uh, blue along with some like black and whites that navy blue color is one of my favorite colors both in the real life and in the sims I just it's my favorite color and we have another build coming out later this week that is a family apartment that I did and I use that blue color everywhere in there too I just I love these chairs and I love that color those are my two favorite items in the sims are these chairs these little retro seating chairs from believe it was bowling and then that shade of blue so i will use it every chance that i get and i just love um i feel like it's really universal too there are a lot of items that have that shade of blue from a variety of packs 
So it has made it pretty easy to be able to mesh that into a lot of different styles and a lot of different homes and have everything still match. You may notice um, as we are going along with this that some of the items kind of look like they're in the way or they're not fitting correctly and I do go through and fix that. Uh, in the screenshots you will notice some items missing and that is because after I play tested it I realized some of it wasn't working such as like reaching the teen boy's bed or even getting into a little L-shaped couch. The table was too close because I did downsize it. Um, the, you know, the square uh, space was still the same even though the item was smaller so I did have to scoot it out a little bit. So you will notice a couple little tricks and things like that that I had to go through and fix. We did add the little parenthood board and since I lifted it up, I'm not sure if that's still usable or not. I'm sure it would be because it's still reachable by The Sims. But I added it in there just because I needed to fill that wall space. But I didn't want to put like another painting because there wasn't really any that fit the colors or the ideas that I had. And so I thought that was a good way to fill up the space. So down here, we are doing another little, or well, I guess the first small bathroom. This is the only one that is in the build. And at first, I was trying to make it a full bath. And I'm sure you can fit all the items in a full bath. Um, but, or it, you can fit all three items in a four tile square. I'm pretty sure I've seen it done before. But I just wasn't feeling it. And I felt like in most modern homes or homes nowadays, they have a half bath downstairs and their normal baths upstairs. So we just did a small little cute half bath, added a little bit of greenery, and that's it. This is the same items and generally, well the layouts are different because all the bathrooms are different sizes. But it's the same four items that I used in all the bathrooms. Very, you know, modern black and white theme with the spa day, wallpaper tiles, and floor tiles. So here we are building the laundry room and I do love how it turned out. I thought it was very cute and still pretty modern. This is the only laundry basket in the whole build, mainly because I didn't have room to put it into any of the bedrooms. And you don't really need to have more than one, at least, I don't know, the Sims will all use one and I believe when they change clothes they use the closest one. And so we only, I only put one in. Obviously you can add more if you feel the need or you can even delete it if you don't want that interaction in your game. But I felt like just having one in the laundry room made the most sense. Um, my family, we had two. They were both in the bathrooms growing up. Um, now in my own house, we have three. I keep one in my baby's room and then we keep two in the master bedroom just because... My fiance goes through a lot of clothes, and I do too. We go through a lot of clothes in general, so we have to have two baskets, and I end up doing laundry like four times to five times a week, which isn't the most exciting thing to do, but, you know, you have to do what you have to do. Um, up here, this is my third time doing the bathrooms, in, or the build, my third time working on the build, so I came back to it one final time to finish it up. And you'll notice when we zoom out and move around that the bathrooms are done. This video was getting kind of long, so I cut those parts out just because they were generally the same as the other one. So we're just going to clutter up some space up here. We gave them the office like you saw with a little easel and a uh, guitar. So that way you can have lots of skill building and lots of activities that can be done here. I thought this was really nice because you kind of have a look over the property and the lot and you can kind of see outside maybe you know get inspired if this was real life you know it gets a lot of natural lighting and natural air i do add um, a couple cats and dogs items though there is no actual like food bowl or pet beds or anything like that i just use their decorations because i thought they were pretty cute and just fit and filled the spaces really nicely I love these shelves. I think it's so great that there's so much open space to put items on. But I also hate the fact that there's so much open space because I feel like I need to fill it all out. So I tried to keep it pretty minimal and not overpowering or extreme. As you can see, in that little study area, we did keep with the kind of navy blue theme uh, just to keep the house more universal. And at this point, you'll see that we're using the same color scheme 
which we do change it up a little bit. In my head, I had the mindset that maybe this was like the parents' old bed from when their first house, when they first got married of some sort, or the parents started decorating the room and then the daughter changed it. So we add a lot of pink and a lot of more girly things in here to kind of show like what the parents chose and how the parents wanted the room decorated compared to how the daughter wanted the room decorated. With this room, I pictured her to kind of be a little bit on the girly side, but also an animal lover. She has a little hedgehog along with a fish bowl. So I feel like she wants to be a veterinarian when she grow up, grows up. And like I said, a little bit more on the girly side. She likes pinks and blues and purples. So we just kind of filled out the room with just, you know, cute little animal based things that were also still pretty girly and sweet. So lots of pinks. Um, we end up, yep, we changed those two little light pictures. Uh, make it a little bit more realistic, a little bit more homey. Her room is a lot cleaner and a little bit less cluttered, or actually a lot less cluttered than the boys' bedroom, which is what we're working on right now. Typically when I do a teen boys' room, I tend to make them kind of like moody and dark. And so I wanted to stay away from that with this one. And I ended up making his room a little bit more athletic and sporty. Like he works out a lot. He wants to be an athlete one day. So we use a lot of those items. But since I had a sim on the slot already from taking the screenshots originally, I wasn't able to use any of the old, or not old, but any of the reward trophies. So there aren't any trophies in the room, which I feel like is a little... I don't know, it's realistic to unrealistic. There is a shelf in here, so as your sim, you know, skills up and he earns trophies, there will be a shelf to put the trophies on. So I just kind of put a little couple clutter items on there. And I was trying to figure it out because, like, I knew in my head, I was like, there are shelving items, like, there are trophy shelf items. So I was trying to figure it out so hard, and that's when I finally realized that, oh, hey, like, those are only available if you win them, like, in gameplay. <laughs> Uh, right now, we are just adding a little poster cluttered wall. In my mind, I feel like the boy was a little bit older than the girl. They're both in the teenage phase, but he's kind of closer to being a young adult. And so, he's a little bit more mature, though he has a lot more cartoony things. Whereas the girl is kind of younger and more just in the early stage of her teens. So this is right here where I added the shelf and I added a couple of jerseys to kind of make it look like, you know, he had won them or they got gotten signed by some artists that he liked. I do end up moving the bowling pin and the basketball onto the shelf just to kind of get them off the floor and clean up the floor a little bit. And we do move that big uh, bundle of athletic gear under the shelving unit just because the sim wasn't able to get to the bed due to the fact that the punching bag was on one side so he couldn't enter from that direction and then there was too much clutter on the other side so he couldn't enter the bed at all. So this bed is only a one entrance bed. They can only sleep on the one side. So you cannot woohoo in this bed. So I'm sorry to disappoint you. The teenage boy will not be getting any action <laughs> in your gameplay unless you delete and move around some items. Though both the parent bed and the girls' bedroom are accessible from both ends. Right here, we are just adding a little bit of wall decal and kind of a little clutter, I guess per se, onto these walls to like make it look a little realistic. Because of how the doors were placed and just the one tile layout of this area, I wasn't able to put like a lot of plants or a lot of items, so I do leave a majority of it blank just because there wasn't room for it. Uh, right here, we are going to start working on the teen, or not the teen, the little boy's bedroom, or honestly, little girl's. I try to make it pretty neutral, so that way, if it was a boy or a girl, you can put them both in here. And I also wanted it to feel more like the parents decorated it, and they kept it more towards how they wanted it to look, and a little cleaner, I guess, per se. There's not a lot of items in there. There's just, you know, those few rugs. There is a bookshelf and a little chair, and that's it. Just so, and I think there's some decorational items, you know, and all that kind of stuff. But it is very clean and very, you know, smaller and more organized than the teens' bedrooms. Just because I felt like the parents decorated this how they wanted it to look. And the teens got to decorate their rooms how they wanted it to look. 
So we keep kind of like a jungle theme in here with, you know, the bear bookshelf and the bear chair, and then a little frog and ladybug on the floor, just to kind of be a little bit more like safari or jungle theme. So we kept, you know, the paintings the same, just kind of jungle animals. We didn't use the dinosaur one because it didn't feel like it fit in with the theme. But I thought that was really cute, really simple, and really tiny room. You can definitely fit a toddler bed in there and get some toddler things around the house. You can even change one of the seating areas downstairs to like a little playroom. But you probably shouldn't have like a teenager or a young adult in that room just because it is super tiny. So you will have to work out some layout designs if you choose to use this house for a while. Right now we are working on the final bedroom, which is the uh, parents' bedroom. I kind of did like a red and gold theme, make it seem a little fancier, a little nicer. We put some, um, we made our own little pot plants with the Salvadorada little pots. And I think it turned out really cute, really classy, super clean and super simple. There aren't, you know, a lot of clutter, a lot of items. I just wanted it to be super you know, just clean and simple because that seemed like the parents' aesthetic. So here we are at the screenshots. Um, you will notice in here that there are some unpainted parts. I did fix that, and you will also notice that some of the items are missing. Like I said, they were um, they were making it so Sims couldn't use certain items well. So I'll leave you off here with some music, and I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys tomorrow.